friends, look no further than the Midtown Ice Blocks. I can't wait to check this place out. Cammie Brown live at Beast and Bounty, checking out the menu. Good morning. Good morning. So it's going to be a couple of weeks before you can make a reservation to come in here to see Beast and Bounty, but we wanted to give you a sneak peek because I am the sexiest restaurant oh, in Sacramento. Look at statement. how beautiful the decor is. Plus, I'm sorry, but I never want to eat anywhere again that doesn't have gold silverware because that is what I deserve. Know your worth, people. And that is why this place is going to be crazy busy. Okay, Michael, you are behind this whole idea. First of all, let's talk about the concept because this restaurant is gorgeous. So, Beast and Bounty is an exhibition wood fire kitchen where we're bringing the meat eater and vegetarian together over wood fire. So, yeah, that's that's basically what we're doing. And a lot of times it's hard for people who are vegetarian to find places where they can go. So, you wanted to really find a place where everybody is welcome. Absolutely. This is kind of the great common denominator and we do have stars of our menu, which is the vegan and vegetarian dishes, where sometimes it's an afterthought. This is really one of the stars of our menu. Okay, let's see some of the menu items, too. Let me take you back over here, and you can see, uh, as he was talking about the wood burning oven here, Brock is the uh, main chef here. Okay, let's go over what some of these entrees are because these are exquisite. Okay, so this is going to be the fried pickles, which is a vegan appetizer. Ooh. So it's a, a bunch of different types of pickles. And then in the middle is a beet um, aioli, which is made with aguafaba, which is the liquid from garbanzo beans. So it is vegan instead of egg. And then wow. on top is dusted with fiends herbs. And then over here we have the chicken dish. And so it's a half chicken. Um, it's basically a succotash of a bunch of summer vegetables. Ooh. And then on top of it is going to be a cilantro puree and uh, pickled red onions. And yeah, then Edward is, is going to explain both yeah, of these. Yeah, Edward is the pastry chef. And can I just tell you that pastry chefs do not get enough credit at restaurants. And having worked at a restaurant before, for them to come up with unique concepts. And when you see this, you're going to be like, what? Okay, what is this, Edward? All right, so uh, this is our peach donut because uh, everybody's assuming what? we just do donuts because of milk money. So this is uh, a. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, Twin Peaks peaches, um, pickled and roasted, and then it's topped with a uh, meadow sweet facial cream. Then there's a, uh, a peach jam on the bottom, topped with fresh peach and fennel. And then we have the uh, coconut lime tart, which is like a rye crust, a uh, little lime pudding. Um, Topped with tarragon powder, and then there's a little bit of uh, coconut puree on the side. Okay, now there is bocce ball outside. They do have um, outdoor seating at all. The bar is gorgeous. Michael, when are you guys expected to open? Uh, second week of July, we're going to be open to the public. Okay, now will you take reservations, or is this going to be just show up? Absolutely. We will take reservations. We will be accepting walk ins too. You see the communal tables that we have over there. Yeah, Those I like are going to be reserved for walk ins um, and larger parties. Okay, good. And you know, sometimes places don't take reservations, and that can be hard. Right. Let me tell you, this is the new date spot. If someone is taking you somewhere else for a first date, bye. Wow. <laughs> That's a hard no. Okay? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> If it doesn't have gold silverware, I'm not eating there anymore. In fact, I might just take some of this. Like, I'm just going to. You keep it in your purse? BYO. <laughs> Bring your own. <laughs>